Hello, this is a demo about the migration tools provided by iAspire Systems for the Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise to MySQL migration. First of all, I'd like to mention that iSpire Systems provides tools and services for automating the databases and applications migration processes for a variety of conversion directions. The list of tools supplied for such kind of automation is as follows. SQL OS Exe, a command line tool that can be run in batch mode and can perform the automatic conversion of the database using the ODBC connection or the database and the application code provided in scripts. SQL OS Wizard, a GUI tool that is designed to simplify the database conversion process tuning for the SQL OS command line tool, works with the SOAR database using the ODBC connection. SQL OS Studio, a GUI tool that is designed to simplify the database or application script conversion process tuning for the SQL OS command line tool, works with one script at a time. SQL OS command Commander, a GUI tool that is designed to simplify the database or application scripts conversion process tuning for the SQL OS command line tool, works with several scripts at a time. In this demo, I will show you the Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise to MySQL migration using SQL OS Wizard, SQL OS Studio, and SQL OS Commander tools mentioned in the list provided. First, let's start from SQL OS Wizard. This is a tool that can connect to the Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise database using the ODBC connection only. So, to migrate from Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise to MySQL database, you need to provide the ODBC DSN for Sybase ASE on the Choose a Source database page. Also, you need to specify a user and a password with the appropriate rights for making selects from system tables from Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise. On the Choose a Target Database page, you need to choose the target database from the list of the supported databases. As you can see, the MySQL database is specified here. Uh, also, need to provide other credentials for the MySQL database for the support of definitions and data load using native utilities of this database. All the objects that SQL Waze manages to extract from Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise database, it depicts in a tree view on the specified database objects or query page. Here, you can select all the objects required for migration. After that, you can specify different options for automatic Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise to MySQL conversion like option that controls the schema name conversion, reserved words conversion, data type conversion, identifier names conversion, and etc. Also, there are options that can help you in uh, you to run the definitions and data migration in separate processes. On the specify export file options page, you need to provide the directory which serves as an intermediate repository for the whole migration process and stores all the automatically generated files uh, like SQL files uh, with the converted definitions of the objects, text files with the data prepared to be loaded into the target database, BAT or SH files with the commands for native utilities to load both definitions and data on Windows or on Unix-like OS. All the Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise to MySQL migration process is performed in two steps. Each of them has separate login information. For the export process, there are provided SQL waste log files with information about the objects read from the Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise database the number, number of rows of data, and the size of the data per each table extracted, number of lines of code per each business logic objects like views, stored procedures, triggers, and etc. At the end of the export uh, log file, there is provided a summary information per each object type regarding the number of objects, the common size of data, number of rows of data, 
or lines of code depending on the object type. The export status regarding whether there were any failures or no during the export process. And the total information for the whole database export. Similar information, but in more readable format, is provided in the SQLways report HTML file. There is a summary table with the complete export status and statistics per each object type. And there are also tables with a list of objects and more detailed statistics for each object extracted from the Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise database. As for the import process, SQLways uh, generates a SQLways IMP.log file for the import into the MySQL database that contains information about what object is being loaded and whether there are any issues during the import process or no. The same log file is generated for each object being loaded into the MySQL database. Now let's turn to the SQLways Studio and SQLways Commander tools that are designed for database scripts and application scripts conversion purposes. In SQLways Studio, to convert from Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise to MySQL, all you need to do is to provide the conversion direction using the source and target options. Place the source Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise code to the left pane of the tool and run the conversion. At the bottom of the tool you can see the log information for the conversion process that shows if there are any errors during the script conversion from Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise to MySQL database. After the conversion, you can compare both source and target scripts in one tool side by side for your convenience. In SQLIS Commander, there are also two panes which give you the opportunity to specify the file or files or the whole directory for the conversion. So, to convert from Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise to MySQL, you just specify the source and target from the list of the supported databases, specify the files for conversion, and click Run. When you specify the directory for the conversion, you also need to provide the template for the files that you would like to convert from Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise to MySQL database, and provide the target directory. At the bottom, there is generated the conversion log with information about conversion issues, if any. After the conversion, by double-clicking the file in the source and in the target pane, you can review the conversion results side by side, like in SQLway Studio. Okay, this is all information I've got for this demo. The information about the peculiarities for Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise to MySQL migration and the information about other tools that iSpire Systems provides for the database migration support will be described in our next demos. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.